the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Central America. The Belize Barrier Reef stretches more than 250 kilometers and is the second largest reef system in the world. It's one of the Earth's most diverse ecosystems and now home to a relative newcomer. Native to the waters off Asia and Australia, lionfish are breeding rapidly in the Caribbean Sea and according to marine biologist Jennifer Chapman, are threatening the fragile ecological balance there. Lionfish have voracious appetites. They basically are indiscriminate feeders. They will just eat anything they come across. The knock-on effects to the rest of the coral reef are just enormous. What is now regarded as an infestation started in Florida in the 80s when a handful of lionfish kept in aquariums ended up in the sea. Since then, the insatiable predators have been eating their way through their host waters. They were first spotted off Belize six years ago. An encounter with a lionfish can be a painful experience as their pretty fins hide venomous spines. With their NGO Blue Ventures, Chapman is trying to convince fishermen not to be afraid of the lionfish. Here in Sartania, in northern Belize, she informs the locals that the fish could be an alternative to mussel and lobster, and shows them that the spines can be cut off. Can you see any spines here? These fishermen are pretty pragmatic. Imagine what would happen if we couldn't catch the lionfish. They'd end up taking over our fishing territory. Increasing numbers of fishermen are beginning to see the lionfish not only as a threat, but also as an opportunity. Nevertheless, there still needs to be a consumer demand for the fish. In the village of Satania, lionfish has long featured on the menus. In Pablito's restaurant, a fillet of fish with rice, beans and cabbage is an old favorite and more than a hundred dishes are served each week. Jennifer Chapman's Blue Ventures wants to see the same success all across Belize. It's believed to be impossible to completely clear the Caribbean of lionfish, but it may finally have met its first real enemy. Man.